Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guests are Ariel Biggs and Mikey Wren from Young Biz Kids. And this is now a great time for this segment to talk about, Mikey, you have your book. You're, you're an author already. <laughs> Remind us how old you are. I'm 10 years old. Ten 10 years old, you have, your, you have a business, and you also have a book. Tell me about Mikey Learns About Business. Well, Mikey Learns About Business is about just a nine-year-old kid who wants to start a business but doesn't know how. Okay. And he finds a magical briefcase in his basement that shows him how. Okay, and we have, we have the, the magical, tell me a bit about the magical brief. This is a character, Biz? Yes. And so uh, who is Biz? Biz is, who's Biz? Is secretly my mom because uh, I, we thought about it and we said, well, no one wants to listen to their mom talk about business. So uh, we said, let's just put a magical briefcase in the place that knows everything about business. Got it. Mm -hmm. So we've got, this is actually your briefcase, but when you're reading the book, as people see on the cover, Biz mm -hmm. is a character in there that's kind of helping give advice. And so what does Mikey ultimately learn in the book? And it's great illustrations. You have an illustrator who did a wonderful job. But what does Mikey, what does the character learn in the book? He learns overall just how to start a business. And, and then that's when he starts to run a successful vending machine business. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Ariel, I want to come, kind of jump back to you because as a parent, you know, you see your children and they have so much potential. They're so curious and so inquisitive. And I think the hard part sometimes is when they express an interest in something yes. and you know it can be something else, but you just don't know how to go about it. You don't right. really know how to help provide sort of the pathway for them. And so what would you say to other parents if they see in their kids this kind of spark of interest in business? What would you say? Come, besides come right. to the workshop. Come to, come to the <laughs> workshop. But um, to be patient with them because we know that kids change their minds all the time about different things that they want to do. But when we encourage them and stand behind them when they are doing something that they enjoy, when they turn, change their mind to the next thing, they'll, they'll know that you'll be there to support them. And I think the biggest thing for Mikey was our parental support of what he wanted to do because he changes all the time just like any other child. But the consistency in telling him about learning responsibility and just educating through entrepreneurship, making everything a learning experience mm -hmm. for him mm -hmm. to teach life skills that he'll need. No, and that's so critical because so many times it's just parents, their kids are showing that potential. They're showing that interest, but they just don't know where to take it next. Right. So I, when I talk to parents, I tell them when our kids play sports, we know where to take them mm -hmm. to the Boys and Girls Club. When they show interest in dance, we know where to take them for dance but when they have that interest in entrepreneurship we don't know where to take them mm -hmm. so that's why we created young biz kids so we can have that place mm -hmm. where our entrepreneurial kids can go mm -hmm. well let's talk about go back to the workshops for a second what ages is it open to so seven years old okay. to high school 18. okay so seven all the way seven so that's yes. around second grade mm, yes. uh all the way through high uh, school through high school and is there anything else you want people to know about the workshops because we have one coming up the third saturday of each month but is there anything else you want people to know about them? That we use entrepreneurship as a tool to teach financial education. So we don't put kids in LLC business or things like that. We use it as an educational tool and we learn, we teach them through that um, mm -hmm. tool that mm -hmm. we do entrepreneurship. So they can learn communication, they learn character building, they learn how to manage money, the things that they'll need to be successful Got in it. life. Got it. So even if they their business idea isn't fully fledged, they're picking up all these all the, other mm -hmm. skills along the way. Well, Mikey, before we close things off, what can we expect from you? When I interview you again, where will you be? Where do you see yourself in the next, you know, 10 years, 15 years outside of once you finish high school, college? I see myself in the NBA. <laughs> NBA with your a business on the side, right? Yes. With the business on the side. Well, I look forward, if you have the time then to inter for me to interview you, I look forward to it, all right? Okay. Thank you both for being Thank here. You. And again, we've got the information there for you on the screen. It's Young Biz Kids. They host, it's a nonprofit organization, and they host monthly workshops to teach children and young people about business, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship invest, investment, and financial health. It's really a lot of interesting information that can be obtained. For more information, go to Young Biz Kids kids.org again youngbizkids.org all right well there's more STL live right after this please stay with us